because mm-hmm. of ai we have a lot of help but the speed of learning is increasing as information is increasing so we have to understand how to compose all of this information and put it here by practical connections so let's discuss three levels of ros your understanding let's start from the beginner how we can build it and step by step take it to the next level and be professional at ros the first level is learn how ros communicates the main three aspects of it is nodes topic message services these are the basic communication systems in ros that make the data flow between robots or simulation or whatever you are using ros for my suggestion for your understanding is first create nodes from the wiki then make changes in their message types the topic names and all of that and make nodes to send data that is relevant to you and can be non robotic for starting then you can utilize 2d turtle sim as we can see here and play with it like we are showing that two turtle simulation bots are racing with each other it's these kind of simulation to first build your understanding around nodes topic message services you should be very clear because everything stands on these concepts ros is basically used for communication and these are the base of ros so these are very important so you have to spend a lot of time with them with different message types and create scenarios for you to use multiple topics multiple messages create multiple multiple nodes for just to clear your concepts up the second level is to work with 3d simulated robots first you will start with popular available robots like turtlebot 3 a mobile robot and i suggest you to start with mobile robot because drones and mobile robots are little bit complex in motion than mobile robots so on this 3d robot turtlebot 3 for example you are going to learn about sensor data at first how camera data is sent how 2d lidar data is being sent what is a depth camera and how its data is represented so sensor data is going to be subscribed using the previous concepts of nodes and topics that you have learned already you are going to utilize them and make the robot take actions on the sensor data like for example as from the lidar sensor you can detect the distance to the objects and when you know the distance to the objects you can perform obstacle avoiding like behavior you have to write nodes which is programming to understand how to manipulate and process the sensor data and take actions in robot behavior once you are good with sensor data processing you will move toward creating your own robots because you have already worked with robots and its sensor data already available creating a custom robot takes you to the next step of urdf and its intricacies and physical dynamic properties of it that brings also the ros2 control and gazebo plugin interfaces these are again very important for your understanding of how you can bring your custom robots into ros2 communication and gazebo simulation simultaneously and work upon your robots as well third level is about understanding how ros2 open source community has developed it now that requires first of all how the code is being maintained and how it is available on github and all the packages open you have to understand version control ros step vsc cdci pipelines these all should be understood so you can see how people are fixing their problems and errors and issues in their github repositories and how they are developing the code step by step once you are good with that you will now move towards the next step of looking into the code which is integrating your code into ros available stacks like nav2 stack and other interfaces like move it to and all of these are big frameworks are open source and you can access their code you are going to be building your understanding by writing for example a search algorithm and making ros to nav2 stack act upon your search algorithm in performing motion planning of your robot in a map that is created through a lidar sensor so that is the third level that you start interacting with the open source code apparently ros2 is just a framework for robotics but it involves programming system design and theoretical concepts of robots so you have to divide all of these things in steps that first i have to be good at programming while doing ros you don't go for programming and then come back to ros you will lose interest most of the cases that i have seen robotics theory programming practices you have to go through them so in parallel once you have better at these it takes time you need to build projects 6 to 7 big simulation projects and after that you come to system design 
how I am going to integrate all of these packages and learnings into some other library or language, how I can provide it into a web interface or any other hardware interface. That's how you progress step by step. So if I conclude it, you have to be patient, but you have to move strategically.